we are inside my serenity pot and the whole area everything you can see is inside a, pot, a teapot full of adeptal energy and this type of realm is called Jade Peak and it has several cliffs where you can install or build houses as you can see what we're looking at is the inner zoom and section of my teapot and here is my favorite section which we're gliding down to is a section uh, represented with items from Mondstadt, Fontaine and Liwei, three of my favorite places in Genshin Impact. And there's my mansion. We'll get to that mansion later. Such a beautiful place during sunset. The colors of the trees just pop out. Here, the most prominent feature of this area is this monument I built with a statue of Rex Lapis on top, representing Li Wei, and four wind instruments representing Monster. It's night time and you can see the glow of the bushes and the trees that I planted here and then the fountain is of course from Fontaine I also put a little butterfly there Okay, and now we proceed to the Inazuma inspired area of my teapot. They put two estates here, two mansions. You can't go inside them though. Yeah, it's very basic, but I, I actually put a glowing tree, a blue tree, and the middle between the two. And that's where we came from, see? The statue. And over there, on the upper right is my mansion, which we'll be going to later. Oh, this area here is a hot spring right beside the Inazuma area of my teapot. Quick tour. Now let's go to my mansion. Here is the outside of the Mondstadt mansion. This is the biggest house you can select inside your teapot, your serenity teapot. Oh, here, fireworks. Uh, six of them. Ah, let's go. Uh, I'm very specific, uh, very careful in how I designed my fence. As you can see, I installed these white fences with gold. Oh, wouldn't gliding be faster? with gold metal bars but I also added these beautiful lamps street lamps on top of them and inside my house inside my lawn and there's Tubby he's asleep let's go inside Welcome to my humble abode. Here's the inside of my house. It's all white except for the furnishings. Uh, I chose red because that's the only color that seems to go okay with this kind of setup. And here is the ground floor office. adjacent to that office it's very basic I also installed this huge desk <laughs> semi-circular desk 
<laughs> My room looks more like an office. Like, than a bedroom. <laughs> That's it. And then the last room on the ground floor is uh, the kitchen, yeah. For the kitchen I decided to install tiles and not ceramic or wood. Oh yeah, and you can actually cook inside this kitchen. So these furnitures are cooking stoves placed on top of regular tables so let's head upstairs I love these crystal crystal ah. golden crystal lights oh there's a dog Ow. okay the first room is my personal office which is inspired by the Oval Office in the White House so <laughs> It's not very oval though. So I install these uh, crystals all around for light. Oh, they're scats. I didn't realize here we go. Scats here. Yeah. Oof. And now this is what I uh, what I call uh, the, the conference room or library. Functioning as both. So that's the last room upstairs. Let's head back down. That's my house. Now it's time for dinner. Thank you for visiting. Bye.